Hello, this is Sam Tobert from Sound of Joy Music Services, and this is our fourth installment of Teach Me to Play Gospel Music. For today's selection, we will be doing Amazing Grace in the key of F. Let's get started. As always, we always open up all of our videos with practicing the scale in the key we're going to be learning the song in. Starting with the F below middle C. Here we go. One more time. This one. Gotta pay a penalty, penalty for that. One more time. There we go. Also with the left hand. Here we go. With me, practice. No, stop right there. One more time. Left hand. stop. So Amazing Grace is a very traditional um, song that, that has been around for years, but now everyone plays it differently. I'm giving you my gospel approach to this song, but I want to give you the traditional post, the, um, the, the traditional way that is played from the hymnal. Here we go. Just melody only in the key of F. Now that's the the actual the actual tra traditional melody to this song. I'm going to show you it here in this format also. I see what the play is without looking at it. Very traditional. The melody again is found. <coughs> excuse me. Found within the key of F. When you want to, as I say, gospelize it or put it in the gospel format, you must first find the home chords that support this melody. Now, in this, with this um, software, you will see the home chords that I would support the melody with, just the way it is written. Here we go. And. basic let's show you in this format Now, the gospel format to this is adding seventh chords, uh, diminished chords, and um, you can throw in some some of the minor chords, which are, which are part 
of this same structure. Let me give you a walkthrough what those chords are going to be. Here's your first one. There's your second one. It. There we go. Now, those are basic chords, but you, 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 now you ask yourself the question, how do you fit the melody in with all those chords? The gospel um, uh, way of playing, or pattern of playing on the piano is constant movement. So when, you, when you're playing melody line and you're, and you're moving around these chords, you are playing the, the straight chords, but then you're not staying on them long. Here's an, here's an example. Let me show you that in actual format. I gotta remember what I just did. Here we go. Now, I'm still staying within the melody um, timing of the song because I'm, each step is building. You don't just go from the um, traditional way of playing it straight into gospel without building yourself an, an actual path. And I'll, I'll give you an idea how that is and try to catch you what, what I'm doing. Here's the melody. Now I'm going to give you a climb. I just climb. So for those that count the number system, I went from the one, two, three, four. Climbed up the stairs. In the gospel structure of playing piano, you have the ability to mimic whatever instrument, rhythm, rhythmic tones you want. So, a little classical feel. There we go. There's my, what? A flat diminished into an A7. To, to, to take to that minor chord to a G9 or G7 once you take all the notes away. There it is. It's been asked of me, can I provide sheet music um, for how I play a song? And I would often say there would be so many notes on that page, it would be almost impossible to see how I, how I mirror chords. That there's always chords in what we call suspense. To put that on sheet music would have notes overlapping each other. So this is a really a good way to see the approach, the gospel approach that I use. Let me just switch up here. I'm going to try and remember everything I just did. I 
can stay here. I'll give you that chord. That's another way to to uh, approach it but because music is uh, limitless in where you can go once you know the actual pattern of the song as you can see I'm staying within the context of where the where the melody line is the melody line is in this is in this entire range right here so I've left off the, the higher notes not that I can't use them many different approaches you can use so what is the one that I want you to learn bass melody first chording with the bass melody then you begin to add the different changes the notes the chords that actually bring out or emphasize where you're going next switch this up so you can see the name of that chord As a piano player, you have license to use every key on the piano to express what you're trying to get across musically. Now, I'm found, was blind. Now you can stay in that, in that D minor or you can go back to a major. Was blind. Now, I see. You're not, um, you're not um limited or you're not tied to playing the certain chords that's the the one good thing about gospel music is you're not hemmed into what a sheet music says if you want to go minor was blind or you can go major was was blind and just keep it straight very straight all right so I've given you a number of different chord phrases uh, I've shown it to you um, virtually with the virtual keyboard and with this keyboard I'm gonna play it through as I feel it just so that you can see the entire approach we'll do it in this format first so you can see how the gospel feel to Amazing Grace can be approached. Here we go. Let's give it a intro.
As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I'll help you out as much as I can. Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services. Teach me how to play gospel piano. Take care.